As long as the seas have provided bounty, communities have been built around fishing. Historically, many towns in Florida owe their very existence to being close to the water. Today, modern fishing communities form around charity fishing tournaments that lure anglers. These tournaments are like mobile fishing villages, where people form lasting friendships and families create lifetime memories. There's lots of fun and a few tall tales. But unlike the world of commercial fishing, charity is the big winner, and even the fish live to tell their own stories. We're having a great time. I think, you know, when you can be out here and you're in the long run, you're helping the children. We're learning more about the fish species. I mean, what more can you ask for? The fishing begins early at the Kayak Fishing Classic, which benefits the local Boy Scout Council. Each May, fishermen from around the state compete for prizes, fishing for snook, trout, snapper, and redfish in the backwaters of Southwest Florida. Fishing is also a great way to catch up with old friends. Lauren Llewellyn brought her best friend Jesse McCall with her to the Kids Cup Fishing Tournament in Charlotte County. It's the first tournament for the Charlotte County teens, and Llewellyn likes her chances. We had a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll win first. I think she's shooting for the smallest fish, so we'll see how it goes. The Kids Cup Tournament encourages youngsters ages 10 to 16 to compete for prizes and learn about sportsmanship, fishing techniques, and the local environment. Tournament director Michael Heller says the tournament not only raises money for research, but also increases public awareness about redfish and its habitat. We have a program in six of the county middle schools where local fishing guides teach seventh graders an eight-week course about local fishing and the environment. So we have this tournament running in order to finance that program. Heller says fishing tournaments are a great way to pull residents, businesses, and organizations together for a common cause. His catch and release tournament actually benefits the redfish, which has recently been making a gradual comeback after decades of overfishing. Kids Cup gets local businesses to invest their money and time in an enterprise where schools of fish are doing the teaching. Fishing is an excellent tool to teach kids about the environment. They learn in the school program about it, and here on the dock we are uh, partnered with Moat Marine, and we're showing kids about the science of catching and releasing fish successfully. Scientists and novices alike donate their time to conduct research on this valuable game fish that thrives in isolated mangrove forests along the coast. Protecting it can benefit many other species that depend on this critical habitat. They do a whole lesson plan in the schools before the tournament. They're learning about the uh, ecology, the life history of redfish, the habitats that they grow up in and about protecting the environment. So this is teaching good stewardship to the children, and those are our future anglers. The catch and release nature of the Kids Cup Tournament means a steady supply of adult redfish to provide researchers with valuable data. the last boat of the day. Nedig and a team of trained volunteers tag every fish that is brought into the dock, collect DNA samples, and then carefully release them into the wild. The children that caught fish today, each one has a dart tag number, so they'll know their fish is an individual, and some of those fish that we've also selected to implant a transmitter in them that will last over a year. And then we will be able to track those fish in Charlotte Harbor. Everyone works together on this delicate process of knocking the fish unconscious by increasing the acidity of the holding tank, then keeping them alive while a $300 transmitter, each sponsored by a local business, is inserted into the abdominal area. Nedig says redfish are very robust and have a high survival rate when handled correctly. And no one seemed to mind tossing back fresh, succulent seafood rather than taking it home for dinner. What used to be a livelihood for many is now a sport, and it can be a fun way to learn about competition. 15-year-old Booker Cawthorn is optimistic right after the weigh-in. Today was a great day of fishing. How'd you do? I caught maybe 50 redfish. It was extremely hard to choose which fish to bring in. We caught so many redfish. Seven and a half. Cawthorn ended up winning the tournament with a fish that was 5.49 pounds and within the 18 to 27 inch.